Hello, 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 queens. I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing y'all how I created this violet soft glam beat with these rhinestones. And without further ado, we're jumping straight into the video. I'm starting this off by cleaning my client's face. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start working on her brows. To outline them, I'm using my Nika K pencil and this one is in the shade black. Now that both brows have been outlined, I'm going to start filling them in and I like to start from the back and just work my way up to the front. Once the brow has been fully filled in, I like to go over it with my spoolie just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and then I just move on to the other side. Next, I'm going to be going in with my I Envy Clear Eyelash Glue and I'm going to be using this to lay her brow hairs down in place. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with these two Nika K concealers and they are in the shades 07 and 02. First, I'm going to be going in with the shade 02 because it's lighter and I'm using this to clean up underneath her arch. I like to use a lighter shade underneath the arch just so it can look nice and highlighted. If you don't like that look, you can just clean up around the brows using one shade. Now I'm going in with the shade 07 and I'm going to use it to clean up the remainder of the way on the top and the bottom of my client's eyebrows.
Now that the brows are nice and clean, I'm going to be going in with some more of that concealer in the shade 02. And I'm just applying this to her lids. This is going to serve as my eyeshadow base. Taking some of my Dermablend Translucent Powder and I'm going to be pressing this in the front of her brows just to lighten them up. For today's eyeshadow look, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35B palette and first I'm going in with this purple shade. This is the second to darkest purple shade in the palette and I'm going to be blending this out throughout the edge of her eye using this Wet n Wild Taper Blending Brush. Now I'm taking the deepest purple shade from the palette and I'm just working it into her crease. For her lids, I'm going to be going in with this P. Louise base. It's like this pretty lilac shade and the brush that I was using to apply it was not really blending it out too well so I decided to go in with another brush and I'm not sure where I got it from it's very old it probably came from AliExpress if I had to guess but as you can see it's just blending that base and as you all know this is not a cut crease look so it doesn't have to be neat it just has to be blended To keep the color as is, I decided to go in and set the base in place using a matte white eyeshadow. If you don't have a white eyeshadow, you can always go in with a translucent powder. I'm going to go in and reapply a few shades and then I'm just going to go in and do her liner. To line her eyes, I'm using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner, and whenever I'm doing a wing liner on my clients, I just like to move very slow, because if you know me, you know I love precision, you know I love for everything to be as symmetrical as possible, and that's honestly the only advice I can give you if you're trying to do a wing eyeliner, just take your time, and just try to make sure that each stroke is smooth and precise. If you are a beginner, it may be a little easier for you to use gel liner. I think that allows you to have much more control than liquid liner, but now we're going to get into adding a little razzle dazzle to this look, okay? So I went in with different assorted crystals, y'all. Different crystals, different pearls, different size, everything. And this step is most definitely optional, but... I had to add a little razzle dazzle okay y'all know me and the perfect thing about this look is that none of the crystals or the pearls have to be aligned you can just place them wherever you want to place them and I think it came out beautiful so I'm just gonna let y'all watch Finished up on the eyes, so now we're just going to step into the face. To prime her face, I just use my Ponce Moisturizer and my Elf Matte Primer, but now I'm going in with some of my Nika K Concealer in the shade 07, and I'm going to be using this to color correct around her face before we get into the foundation. For her foundation, I just went in with two different shades of my Fit Me and I applied the darker shade to the lower half of her face and the lighter shade to the inner portion of her face and I'm just going to blend the two shades together using my foundation brush.
I'm going to be alternating between my foundation brush and my Real Technique sponge just to give me a nice smooth and flawless finish. To highlight her face, I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer, and I believe this is in the shade 03. I'm going to go in and blend that concealer out using the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation. gonna take whatever excess concealer is left on my brush and use it to clean up the edge of her liner gonna let the concealer sit underneath her eyes a little longer and just move on to the contour so I'm contouring her nose using my Juvia's Place foundation stick and this is in the shade Cat Cena. I like to define the nose first by just going down each side of the bridge and then I drag that product down the edge of her nose to blend it out. To further blend out the contour, I like to go back in with my foundation brush and use whatever excess concealer is left on the brush to kind of conceal the contour line. Then I like to go back in with a little more concealer and run it down the bridge of her nose just to clean it up. And last but not least, I blend everything out using my Real Technique sponge. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sculpt out her face and I like to contour on the cheekbone and I do a little bit on the jawline as well. Once I'm finished contouring, I'm going to go ahead and blend out the concealer underneath her eyes using my Real Technique sponge. To set the highlighted areas of her face, I'm going in with my Morphe Loose Powder and it's in the shade Banana.
to set the contour areas of her face i'm going in with my black radiance contour palette this one is in the level light to medium and i'm just going in with the sculpting shade I'm taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the level Dark Deep and I'm using it to set the remaining areas of her face. Decided to go in with a little bit of blush. This is just a random pink blush I probably got from the drugstore and I'm just applying it to the apples of her cheeks I'm not really a blush person y'all so I don't like to go in too heavy but a little bit works and now I'm just going in with this black eyeshadow and I'm using it to line the edge of her waterline Going in with one of the purple eyeshadows that I used in the beginning and I'm just working it on the edge of her lower lash line. I'm going back in with my foundation brush and I'm going to use it to press in and dust away all of the powder. Now I'm just going to lock everything down using some setting spray and while her face is drying I'm just going to go in and apply her lashes. I feel like I use the same highlighter in every video, but I'm highlighting her face using the middle highlighter from my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette. I'm going in with this Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation and I mix the two shades together to outline her lips. Now I'm going in with this new liquid lipstick and I'm just going to be focusing this in the center of her lips. I'm going to have her to press her lips together to help me blend it into the liner. Once I'm finished blending out the lips, that'll be the finished look and we'll be stepping into the grand reveal. Oh girl! <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. You ate as usual. <laughs> Okay queens, we've made it to the end of the video and as y'all can see by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. I think this look came out so pretty and if you all enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and make sure that you follow me on Instagram so you don't miss any of my content. A link will be in the description box down below. Bye bye queens.